Hello everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for being here and watching this video to support me. I truly appreciate it and I just want to take this opportunity to give you so much love and light and I really hope that you enjoy the video and it would be incredible if you could like, subscribe and comment below on anything, any subject or anything it is that you would like to hear from me, any insights that you would like me to elaborate on or any troubles that you are experiencing, please just let me know, comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'm sending you all so much love. I'll speak to you in a second. Hi everyone, Rachel here. Just wanted to come on and spread a bit of love <laughs> because I'm seeing a lot of polarization at the moment and different sides, different opinions of what's happening in the world and the reactions towards um, what's happening to the, in the world and to each other. And um, from what I've been listening to and things like that, I don't know whether we're in for a bit of a more bumpy ride. I would say that we sure are. But, you know, I think that we need to remember that we are the creators of our own life. And as long as we can, like, keep our, you know, the vibration, the frequency, the the um, higher energy, the love energy, the blissful energy, the energy of gratitude, as long as we can, like remain in that positivity um to within ourselves and within the people around us and within you know having that remembering that we are the creator and so picturing how we it, what it is that how we want to see the world how we want the world to become um in a way which is you know going to benefit all of us which is going to be positive which is going to be and um, you know filled with joy and laughter and love and togetherness unity um and and try to really become aware of the polarization that is happening between us all you know um in our own families friendships in countries in um you know, we've got to be aware of the fear that's, that's being spread at the moment. And that can happen on whatever side you decide that you're on or, you know, wherever you are in the spectrum of all of these emotions and feelings of fear or anger or or maybe, you know, you're quite balanced or, and you just can see all the different sides. And that's really where we want to be because... I feel like, you know, we can't hate someone for having their own opinion, right? We need to get this, like, people could have an opinion about something in their life, like, and solely believe that and solely think that that's right for them. And, like, as long as we all stay together in terms of if even if we disagree with another person or something that's happened um to um our lives our country um another person you know even if we disagree um and we you know can that can automatically bring up irritating you know frustrate frustration anger um you want to want to attack want to react badly negatively and all of those energies are still fear based right even if you think it's for a good cause and so we've got a lot of heavy, heavy energies um, that are being spread thinking that they're, that each individual thinks that they're providing a good, providing fear, but for a good cause. But at the end of the day, it's all fear. Everything is fear. <laughs> like that's negative. And so holding that fear will only present more fear in your life and more fear in the world. And that's all that seems to be brewing and being cultivated at the moment. And and it's we've got to realise this, have an awareness of this, and then start to control our own emotions, start to manage the way we, f we feel, the way we react. You know, instead of instantly reacting to things, we need to respond through compassion, through... Um, 
um, a greater understanding. So we need to like, you know, provide um, a communication between us all, which is where we listen to one another, where we, you know, even if we don't believe what the other person says, we hear them out, we listen and we say, okay, that's great. That's great that you have an opinion, that, that your opinion is great. But what about this? Would you, it's interesting that you said that, but what about this, you know? And you, we can have these healthier debates and we can have um, communication between people where it doesn't always end in um, someone crying, being in fear, provoking anger or, you know, or sadness and, you know, it only rises our men the illness of our mental health. It won't promote positivity to a positive life, to a um, more blissful, more beautiful, more enhanced um, way of living. Um, and that will not uh, be the future of this world unless we do take command of our own emotions and you know how we feel about things so say for example if i disagree with someone um about something that's okay it's okay to have a disagreement but it's the way it's being handled so then how i approach someone who's speaking to me who has an opposing opinion than i then i'll be like um so okay let's let's have a, a great discussion about this let's hear each other out let's be reasonable let's be grown up right let's be let's not push people aside just because they're not the same as you and so you know all this fear all this fighting um you know if i reacted like that to someone that would only i would only be receiving that back right so if we're gonna fight we're gonna get fighting back um, if we're going to promote fear, we're just going to get fear back. So think, think really hardly in, you know, your own personal lives as well. And to everyone that's around you in every conversation that you have and be mindful, do mindful listening. So listen intently to every word that someone is saying and be there for them. Be there for people you, who you don't even agree with feel what that feels like it feel you know embrace the the vibration of love on a constant basis um even if someone hurts you even if you don't agree even if they um react badly to you but you don't you know still don't let that disturb your peace remain in your peace and then through that you will gain a greater understanding of your own self uh, of your spiritual being, of the ever, you know, the the hot, the way the planet's consciousness is rising at the moment, you will you will have a greater understanding of everything because you will feel more awakened in your own mind, and it will automatically happen. We just need to remain um, in this blissful state, and you can do that through. If you can't say, for example, remain in love, in a love state, so giving everyone love, it's so hard if someone's really not giving it you back, or you know, you can hard to find that beauty to get fulfill your energy back up. So, just turn to something like gratitude, because gratitude is easy to be like, okay, what am I grateful for in my life? Not what do I not have, or what do I not want things to be, and what not what do I hate? But what am I grateful for? What can I give? How can I um, respect and love and grow um, everything that's around me and everything that's in my life? And when you start doing that, just saying what you are grateful for every single day, especially if you find yourself slumping into the negativity, into the, you know, the sadness or the fear uh, or the judgment, you know, it's it's time to wipe all that clean now. It's time to wipe the ego. <laughs> brush it away <laughs> and and just like grow grow within your own self there's no point holding on to fear no point 
holding on to resentment from something from the past, you know, recent past, old past, whatever. There's just no point. We've got to let it go. We've got to embrace our own true self and everybody else's truth, everybody else's beliefs, everybody else's, you know, opinions. Because who are we to judge someone else? Because to them, to those poor people think, that they're doing the right thing, you know, and you can see that from all sides, you know, those poor people, the, you know, if you look at it in sympathy, if you look at it in a way as, you know what, whatever happens, we just want to do the best for humanity and for this planet Earth, you know, she's working so hard to keep us alive and well and happy and, and um, she's really, really working at it and, and it's time for us to stop neglecting neglecting our own self our own bodies our own mind our own mental health it's time for us to stop projecting our fear onto other people our pains onto other people you know our past negativity onto other people like you once you embrace this state of peace and bliss and love and that vibe all those the spectrum of vibration that you can hold once you get to that state, then this negativity and this old way of thinking and the ego and the pain that surrounds you and within you in our own physical bodies, it can no longer hang on. It can't hang on. Just imagine if you're up there, I've probably said this before, if you're up there high in negativity and the low vibration is here, there's a gap between you. It cannot get to you because you are not letting it because you're way up here. You're on top of the mountain. You're going, hey guys, I'm free. <laughs> you know, and as long as you stay in resentment, then you're not free. As long as you stay in fear, you are not free. And right now we need to be free. So this is a really important message because it's something that we need to, we can be easily taken off on. Like we can just get into a, an argument or a story or a debate or an anger because something really personal has attacked us. And as soon as it turns personal, we're like, right, we're fierce and we're ready. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> and, and it's like, no, we can't do that. We can't allow that to take over us because what happens, your heart, your anxiety, it hurts, it's painful, you want to get angry, you want to fight, you want to lose your mind, and there's just no point. There's no point. Um, and we need to stay connected to ourselves, stay grounded to the earth. And if you have any questions about anything that I have just said, let me know, please. Uh, please remain in this peace state. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Sending so much love and light.